We actually received the, uh, the 3D printer in the spring of 2013. It took about a year before that to sort of lay the plans to actually get it and figure out how to pay for it and convince people that it belonged in the library and that it was a service that we could and should provide. The jar that's printing is um, a graduate student in archaeology who is going through and uh, 3D modeling and recreating um, objects that have been found on actual archaeological digs. And so he's taking pieces of them or whole things that have been found, um, rendering them in one of the software programs that we have. And so we're trying to print one of them right now just to sort of see what it looks like. He's trying to recreate also this large-scale reconstruction of this whole sort of community that was destroyed at one point. What we're really interested in is sort of um, being an entry point for people to this way of thinking and this way of making objects. This is my face that was printed down at uh, the MakerBot store on Mulberry Street. Which is kind of cool. Um, these are some carbon nanotubes that I made using a program called OpenSCAD and then some um, other molecules. Just I wanted to be able to go and talk to a chemist or a biologist or a mathematician or a physicist. We bought a MakerBot Replicator 2. It works through a process called fused filament fabrication. It's tough to say if you can't say your Fs. Um, and the way that that works is, is so there's a platform um, a, a small plastic filament that's on a spool is brought in and forced through a heated uh, element, so a heated tip. That then is squeezed out in a two-dimensional uh, pattern, really, onto the platform. And then once it's done one layer, the whole platform moves down a little bit, and then it squeezes out another layer. We are not the first library to think about bringing 3D printing or bringing the sort of culture of making into the libraries. It became a lot easier and has now started to provide us with questions, and new questions that we can ask about what role we can play sort of in supporting research. Because that's, I mean, that's really the library's fundamental purpose, to support research, teaching, and learning at Columbia in, in all of the different ways that we do that. And so how can 3D printing and how can other new technologies fit into that?